And there's a couple here, I, I met the wife when she came. I, they, they also came from Lafayette. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us, tell us. My name is Michael Allen. Amen. Uh, just put your hands together for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a great, great effort to be here tonight. Amen. They work together. We love them. We love them. And, and you came from Dallas. Uh -huh. Tell us your name. Then you went to the AOJ. You are a Dickie. You know, I, I, I get scared of Dickies. Because sometimes when, when you allow that Dickie to come out of them, they all go so wild in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> When I was telling you how you said, what you, you use one English word. You said uh, when I was hugging you, you said something so precious. I can't remember how it. You said oh, that, that was my hip talk. Oh, that was your hip talk. Bring it on in. <laughs> yeah, bring it on in. Yeah, bring it on in. Yeah. Mama, tell us your name. You came all the way from Dallas. My right? goodness. Great thing. And they are, they are all going to be with us all the way to Monday. Man. Tell us your name, Mama. My name is Evangelist Mary Spears. Woo. I am the. Um, the mother of Apostle Ivan Spears. Wow. He's also my, he's my son and he's also my pastor. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's give this us a break. All right, let us all stand on our feet from all over the building and let us put our hands together and welcome my spiritual son, Apostle Dudley Tibbs. Amen. God is giving the preacher to be praised. Yeah. Amen. I said God is worthy to be praised. Oh, yeah. All praise, all glory, all honor belongs to Him. Amen. 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 He gets all the glory. All we do is show up and let Him show up. Precious right. Fathers, we come to you humble now. So under yeah. the mighty hands today, yeah. tonight, Lord, I'm ever so grateful and thankful for Him for, for, for Your people. I thank you, precious Father, for having another opportunity to stand before them. And I'm now, precious Father, I ask you just to have me behind Calvin's cross. Yes. And I just lift a plate in the name of Jesus Christ, my head with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the precious name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, precious Father, right now we might have any distraction, anything that will try to hinder the yes. word of God from going forth. Yes. And Father God, we thank you. We thank you in advance that you have the right of the right away, Holy Spirit, yes. Lord God, come on in. Amen. Like a Russian mighty yes. man, lead yes. down and yes. and ordain our footsteps this day and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, God is good and worthy yes. to be to be to be praised. Yes, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I want to share one scripture then. I'm going to get into the word right quick. Amen. Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17, verse 7. Jeremiah 17, verse 7. Mm -hmm. And the word says, Blessed is the man. Uh -huh. Blessed yeah. is the man. Yeah. Right. Blessed yeah. is the man. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. That trust in the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And whose hope the Lord is. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Blessed is the man or the woman or a girl that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Just for these next few minutes, I'm going to talk about keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. You don't need hope, man. Don't need no good hope. Yeah. Uh, well, we have to make sure that we keep hope alive. Because if a man or a woman or boy or girl that don't have no hope, they are in a hopeless situation. So I stop by tonight just to give you a word of encouragement. Uh, Jeremiah had to do it in the Old Testament. And we, as believers of Christ, mm -hmm. hallelujah, Dr. Solomon just said it. We need to speak the word. Yes, yes. You see, when you speak the word, hallelujah, heaven yes. stand in attention. Yes. And everything in heaven is at your disposal. Yes. No, excuse me, disposal. Because we are 
God's precious yes. children. Yes. And his desire is to bless us yes. like we've never been blessed. Yes. Even through a pandemic, yes. God is still in a blessing business. Blesses the man that trusts. Where is your trust here tonight? Is your trust in man? I'll stop by and let you know, but the preacher, brothers and sisters in Christ, you're in for a letdown. Because man will say one thing on this side of his mouth and turn around and say another thing at the same, almost at the same time on the other side of his mouth. So I'll stop by and let you know that your hope should be in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus' blood and righteousness. Yes. We serve a mighty God yes, we do. here this night. Yes, Tell God the hope that God has provided for you and I. It is not mere a, a wish. Neither is it dependent on other people, yes. possessions, or circumstances. Now our hope has to be in God. Amen. Our mind has to be made up. Yes. Our heart has to be fixed. Yes, Lord. That the world is behind us and the cross is before us. Uh -huh. Where is your hope? Uh -huh. Is your hope in the lottery? Yeah. Right. Is your hope in, in people? Oh, is your hope in the economy? Uh -huh. President? Now I stop by and let you know that you need to align your hope uh -huh. where there is hope. And that is in Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Blood and righteousness. Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. You see, he knows what we are going through. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody fool you. He was down here. Hallelujah. Pastor Brown, he was down here. Took upon the shape of man. Watch him. So he knows. He, he knows about our, our, our what we feel. Of what we go through. But you know, he did something that we haven't done yet. He overcame. So I stop by and let you know your hope has to be in the Lord. You see, biblical hope is an, is an application of your faith that supplies a covenant, covenant expectation in God's fulfillment of his promise. No, one thing I know about God, God is not a man that he should lie to the son of man and he should repent. No, he's not. If he said it, he's gonna do it. He will do it. Yes. And no, if so much about it, he'll do it. Yes, sir. Because you see, he'll honor. He's faithful to himself. Yes, sir. And he's faithful to his word. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So as long as God is alive yeah. and well, Jesus. there's hope for the believer. Amen. There's hope for the children. There's hope for us today. Yeah. Amen. The economy may be acting crazy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now your, 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 your neighbor may not like you. Come on. But guess what? There's still hope for him. Yeah. Or for her. Yeah. And as long as we are alive and well, as long as we are, hallelujah, blood coming through our veins, yeah. uh -huh. we still have hope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today, tonight, you may feel hopeless. Uh -huh. You're in the right place. Yeah. The Bible says when two or three are gathered together in this name, he's there in the midst. Yes. Where our trust has to be in the Lord. Amen. To cover three, verse five and six, and trust in the Lord. With all your heart and lean yes. to your own understanding. All your ways acknowledge him. Yes. And he shall direct our path. Yes. A lot of times we say that we trust. Yes. We trust, but sometimes we trust in things. Yes. Sometimes we trust in possessions. Sometimes we trust in our, our reputation. But well, trust has to be in God. You see, he's the one that's in time. And the love. He's the one that knows all by name and better hands on our head. But you got someone now. Hallelujah. He's still. He's still. He's still got an all power in his hand. H-O-P. Blessed is the man that put their trust yes. in the Lord. Yes. Right. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, in Christ, when we look around during this pandemic, hallelujah, there was times where if we felt hopeless. Yes. Uh -huh. We was confined to the house. And we know how it is to be 
the pain. We know, we know how we know how it is to be uh, hallelujah confined to four wall building. Whether your home, your church home, or whatever. After a while, through the isolation of how you are being by yourself. There's something about God that created us. So that we would come together as a community. And lift up that name that's above every other name. And that is the name of Jesus. How did I to preach myself happy? For 15 more minutes. Brothers and sisters in Christ. In order to keep hope alive, we must obtain our expectation that God will fulfill what he has said and promised to do. One thing about God, he'll speak a word. And change will take place. Yes. I remember in the book of Genesis where hallelujah, the, 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 the earth was born. And God had hallelujah. He didn't pull, stop pulling his hair out. All he did was spoke a word. He said, Light! Let there be light. Guess what? Light appeared. Your hope. 
to be so high. And, and less than a few seconds, it, become, it can become hopeless. Because we allow situations and circumstances that we go through. Hallelujah. Get our focus off. But when your focus is on the Lord, when your focus is on, hallelujah, on Jesus and not things. When your focus is on, hallelujah, the King. Of kings and a law of law. Your hope is in him. In Jesus. Blood and righteousness. Reason why your hope is in the law. Because you know what the devil do. First Peter 5 and 9 says, for us to be sober, be diligent, be watchful. Because the adversary of the devil goes as a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. You say that you're a child of God. You say you're a believer in Christ. Hallelujah. It's easy to speak it, baby. But it's a different, it's a, it's a different situation when you got to stand on what you believe in. None of us talk that no talk the talk. But sometimes we don't walk that talk. Hallelujah. You see, dead hope is like dead pain. It ain't no good. But live lively hope. Hallelujah. And have a faith that is alive. A faith that is in God and not an object. A faith that is in Him, the one that is able to turn things around. The one that is able to put our foot on solid ground. I'm talking about a Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Yeah. Uh, blessed uh, is the man 
Praise 